Hey everyone, today is a sad day because I am, I finally found time to depot for myself. So I have about 25 Chanel cream eyeshadows in here. And um, you know how careful I am with products. I open them, I scrape some out, I always close it right away, I close it tightly. Normally I depot them and put them in pods such as these and they, st they stay juicy about for about a year in here but since i didn't work that much last year i was able to do part the other half i kept it in the studio right and if you guys haven't seen the we speak beauty podcast i was a guest on there last monday and it was all about departing i mentioned in that video that i'm able to tell if something's expired even without smelling even without looking for the date or batch number now none of these are a year old okay first of all but i will just wanted to show you because i said those words and I wanted to clarify what I meant about by saying um, what do you call this by saying that I know when something's expired just by the way it depots okay so um, I wish I was more articulate um, I'm not obviously also I'm still like I think in my brain I'm still translating from Filipino to English so sometimes I'm not able to express exactly what I mean but I wanted to show you really really quickly what it's supposed to look like and that's why i how i know when something's expired specific especially with chanel chanel doesn't behave let me just close this chanel doesn't behave like everything else um i know a lot of you are assuming that you can just depart these put them in pants and apply mixing medium when you need it that does not apply to chanel guys so if you really like these and if you want to put it in your kit i suggest to kit split if you don't think you're going to finish it that way it doesn't expire because it doesn't matter how well you take care of it. It's just, it's like Russian roulette with the Chanel um, cream shadows. I feel like they almost do better in pods than in the original container. Same thing with um, paint pots. I think it's, I think next year I'm just gonna depot it right away and put them in clamshells because this is depressing and I'll, you'll find out why. Anyway, so when you're departing Chanel creams, cream, like even you can see, um you're not able to clear even if you scrape you cannot clear the glass you just can't even if you scrape it really really well it does not seem to want to leave the glass okay so let me just depart this and show you and then cream shadows and cream blushes i can always tell if it's expired and this one is not just for chanel when you're setting it down and you press down it should overflow like that when it's not overflowing, it's not good. When it's almost like, it becomes almost like temperpedic, you're pressing and it's not swelling. It's just, all, you know, sorry. When you're pressing and it's not overflowing, it's just swelling and you keep having to smooth it down and it just won't smooth down, but it's not um, overfilled. That means it's no longer good. Throw it out. Basically, real creams that are not past their prime. Here you go. This finally got the thought organized in my head. Creams that are not past their prime is harder to clean. Off of your tool, off of its packaging, and off of its new home. See, I have to keep wiping it to clear it. That's how creams are supposed to behave. All right? And not just Chanel. Now, I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's past its prime. And once again, it's, it's not exactly the date. Okay. Do you see? And then if I go like this, things will fall off. If this were still good, nothing should fall off like that. There should not be crumbs, okay? And then it should be very hard for me to clean my tool. Look how easy that came off. And then I shouldn't be able to expose glass that easily. Like see, if I scrape it, I can see glass easily. That shouldn't happen. Even if it wasn't crumbly like this, shouldn't happen okay now let's find another one oh, so sad once again crumbs right see 
not just that let's get a mixing medium because that's one of the best mixing mediums and that's like four or five drops so i'm very generous with this i'm gonna try and revive this you shouldn't need that much ever right but let me show you it still comes off easy it's still crumbly and it's still it's still not in my tool it keep it keeps leaving my tool if it leaves my tool it will leave the eyes that's what i'm saying if it doesn't stick to your tools it's not gonna stick to the eyes she's dead it's done even if i put more it's just but this is exactly what i mean which brings me to my point if you like chanel cream shadows i think you should just kit split it with a fellow makeup artist see and this one it looks so creamy now still nothing nothing and look look at that consistency would you want that on your client's eyes so i'm gonna tell you why this is a mess funeral it's because I actually have 25 here. 3, 2 times 5, 25. And all I was able to salvage was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oops, that's not even Chanel, that's not one. So, 7 out of 25 in one year. Because I wasn't able to kit split it, not with myself, not with another artist. And look. It's just, so it's just one of those things. Um, I think other brands can be revived easily. Um, even though that's not my style, I know you can do it with others. But Chanel specifically, honestly, I won't even bother. So if you love, love, love this unique formulation and you don't want to waste money, I suggest find a friend or two to kit split it and put them in pods such as these. Now, these pods you can put in your palette. So yeah, th that's why it was important for me that the Mio palettes fit pods. Um, this one is not available because this one's specifically for my clients, the one with the Grishan roof. But yeah, I feel like, ooh, 30. I feel like sometimes they actually last better, last longer in these containers than the original packaging. Um, I find that for my liking, I prefer to use these, especially for Chanel and um, MAC paint pots. I feel like they do better here than in their original packaging. So yeah, I hope you learned something from that video. I hope you learned from my mistake and you don't waste the same amount of money that I did. Okay, and I hope you're having... Um, I hope you're keeping your sanity and you're keeping yourselves safe in these crazy times. Okay? Bye, everyone.